Mark, great result, but uh, I guess the nervous last 10, 15 minutes. I thought it was a really good first half. I thought we, we obviously got in ourselves in front with with a, a really good finish from uh, from Ellis, and then the second one came along not too long after that, and it was another really good finish. Great ball back from uh, Milan into his run and finds the far corner, and then we had some other con uh, other chances to to score. They're always a threat. They're fighting for their lives. They've got some good players in there. Threat from set plays, we defended those with our lives really. We gave them a leg up back into the game. We spoke about that at half time. It's going to be us that gives them a lift into the into the game. That's what happened. You just get that feel, you know, of international break, people coming back from long journeys. Um, and it not being a, a, a scintillate performance by any stretch of the imagination, but we just said in the dressing room there about this stage of the season, you just got to try and find a way of winning games, and, and we did that. The quality, the quality that we have in the team. Uh, he's there for everybody to see. The goals were outstanding. Hadji's finish was, was a brilliant finish to sort of set landing nerves that may have been there, but I thought we defended really well before that. Jake Bidwell putting his body in front of things. All the defenders, in fairness, did. New referee, you know, first game in the championship, so always difficult to sort of gauge, but, you know, really yellow cards put you on the back foot a little bit with Shifo and, and Kitchen, but thankfully we, uh, we kept everybody intact and um, managed, to, uh, managed to secure a really, really good three points. Yeah. You've mentioned that word quality, that really is coming to the fore at the moment and at a critical time of the season. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, there, there, there's, there's more in there, but like I say, you, you, you're sort of looking for performance levels and things like that. Sometimes you've just got to try and find a way to win a game and they're fighting for their lives. They, they're, they're obviously having a right go. Uh, they put us under pressure a lot. You know, in this game, certainly in the second half, more so than the first half, they found a way. They changed shape twice, three times, and personnel, the way they brought the uh, the subs on in the end, you know, to to try and get some energy up, up top. That changed their dynamic. Um, but you know, like I say, we we made a mistake. It's just it's as simple as that. To give them the leg up it was a good finish from uh, from Healy. But um, like I say, we we asked them to play, so sometimes they're going to get uh, get it wrong. We got it wrong. They, they punished us for that, but we, uh, we we stayed in it. We stayed strong, and uh, not only that, we we had a couple of chances um, before the goal. But Hadji's finish was was another outstanding one. Yeah. International break clearly not had an impact on Alice Sims. Another brace. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, we trained. We trained all week. We gave him some some time uh, at home, and then you know what's coming next. You know, if you've obviously got to recover well to to go again on Monday. But we're back at home and on our own patch, and that uh, that gives everybody a uh, you know positive feeling, a big tonic going into uh, going into Monday's game against Cardiff. Yeah, they lost today. What you expecting from that one? Another tough game. They've, they've had a big turnaround again in, in players. They've added, added some. They've, they've uh, changed uh, personnel. Um, they're a they're a, a, a good side. They've got some good players. They're a threat. Um, but again, it's a, it's a game to look forward to, you know, for me, about how we recover, how we can go again, and how we can find a way of, uh, of getting the three points. It's, uh, it's all to play for. We've put the pressure on, you know, the, the teams that are there above us. Norwich have won today, I think, and um, Hull have lost. And, you know, it, it's going to be, be changes throughout from now to the end of the season, but it's, uh, it's exciting for everybody, I think. Ellis, the wins keep coming, and for you, the goals keep coming. Yeah, um, I'm delighted personally and it was a decent team performance I thought in the first half, um, we started well, um, second half uh, was a bit sloppy, um, me included as well, um, but yeah we managed to get the three points so that's the main thing. Yeah, your first goal, good decent individual effort sort of curling it in top right. Yeah it was a nice finish, I still haven't watched it back yet, um, but when you're in good form and your confidence is high, you just do things that like that, for example, just playing with no fear, so it was, it was nice. Do you feel your, your body shape's different when you're sort of aiming to shoot, knowing that you've got these recent goals behind you? Yeah, I think as soon as the, the ball left my foot, I thought it was great contact with the ball, so I thought it was a, it was a great strike and it, and it went in. Um, but yeah, when you're in good a good moment, things like that just fall for you and things go in, so just want to keep it going. 
and people can find you in the box. Lovely move down the right hand side to set you up for your second. Yeah, it was a nice uh, breakaway. We've got pace in the front line. Um, I think it was Milan who broke down on that right side and cut it back and I managed to just find the, the bottom corner so it was a nice second goal for me so yeah it was nice. And I think about five within five minutes you nearly got your hat trick a third of the, for the season. Yeah I think that one was Hadji slipped me in and the angle was a bit tight I haven't watched it back maybe I could have gone further in the corner but yeah I think the main thing was just keep scoring. Obviously, a hat trick would have been nice, but two's also good, um, helping the team out. Uh, so yeah, just want to keep the goals coming. Two goals can be a tricky lead to defend, and you did have that nervy period towards the end of the second half. Yeah, I think two nil. Um, whoever gets the next goal, kind of decides the game. Really, they they got the the next goal at two one. Then was hanging on a little bit, um, but I feel I felt like it was in control of, of the game. It just got a bit sloppy, like I mentioned. Um, but yeah, mistakes are going to happen when when you try and play the football, playing out from the back. Um, but yeah, it was great um, spirit to kind of stay solid and get the third um, great goal by Hadji. Yeah. Hadji, just like yourself, you're now on 16 goals. He's in a rich vein of scoring form, isn't he? Yeah, Hadji's um, very good as well. Um, in a great run of form, he's finding the net. Uh, it was a great finish on his left foot, but that's what he's capable of. Um, so yeah, hopefully we, both of us just keep going, keep scoring and just helping the team out. Mm. Why do you think you complement each other? Because you're, you're obviously, when you look at the Wolves game, it was the two of you that got the goals and again today. I think we're both powerful lads, we're both tall, powerful, strong, um, so yeah, if things are not falling for me, it's falling for Hadji and if it's not falling for him, things will fall for me, so it's a good threat to have both avenues on that left um, and through the middle as well, and sometimes he rolls inside, so it's a double threat through the middle, so yeah, I think we're both in good run of form.